Hello, people. Um, only fans. We've been talking about that today, and, and the rifeness of it in the industry with uh, promoters and stuff. It just came up in one of our group chats, so I thought I'd make a bit of a shit giggle about it. But yeah, today I've been promising to do this for a while and, and give my honest thoughts. Not a reviewer, not a reviewer, but I want to give me honest thoughts on a little brand that's uh, based down in York and it's called Due North. So I'm going to be having a little bash at that on the, the ancient Maxo. It's the iJoy Maxo with a flat line on top. A little flavour beast. Only fans, mate. You, you've got to love an only fans. Um, but it, it's come up in our group chat today, so I thought, you know, let, let's uh, have a have a little look at that. What's everyone's thoughts on only fans? Hello, Missy. I'd say you're my favourite Missy, but I call my little girl Missy. She's not really called Missy, so she's my favourite Missy. Close second, easy. Yeah, how's everyone? I'll just uh, vape whatever's left on this and get rid. If I'm not driving, Dan, I'm generally working, so that, that's the response to that. I'm either in the lab, shipping orders, feeding children, um, or doing like social media stuff. You've still got yours going. What this? Maxo. Quad. I have still got this going, man. It's beaut. Oh, yes, yeah, she's my little angel. I haven't seen her since before lockdown, so it's a bit sad. But, bitches be loco. How are we all? And today we've got Due North Twister Lolly. There are four flavours I was sent. We have Blackberry and Raspberry by Due North. And on the bottle, it's lovely, it says Inspired in the North. It's not the true North. You know, the true North's like Newcastle and stuff. So, for, for Yorkshiremen to be saying it's, you know, inspired in the north, it's a bit of a fib, but they kind of are north. Only fans. Oh, mate, I, I set one away just ago, didn't I, with me with different uh, vape company hats on. Come and see me and me hats. Five dollar subscriptions. Yeah, I, I did do that. Didn't really. I didn't really do that. But yeah, only fans, man. Does it, is anyone desperate enough to own up to uh, having a membership to OnlyFans on anyone? I think you've got to live in a really sheltered, horrible world to uh, make my hairy tits are beautiful. I've had them out in the life before, you know. Like me in a vest on the way back from the gym and shit. I've had my tits out before. So yes, everyone's seen my boobs. Yeah, and was naked just with hats on it. Exactly that. But yeah, we've seen a lot of OnlyFans prop up during lockdown. People are getting itchy feet and want to make a couple of quid. So it does seem OnlyFans is on the rise. And unfortunately, free the nip. Free the nip, exactly that. We, we, we were, we've just been talking with uh, Kyle over at Victory about creating a, a calendar. Um, I've taken February, in which I'll be lying uh, face down in the snow, little glance to the side, a bit of blue steel going on, biting some cloudzilla. Like a very seductive... <laughs> I'm just ready for my two-piece to get there. To get here, sorry. Yes. But yeah, only fans, man. What's everyone's thoughts on only fans? And it does seem like there's a lot of people in the vape community jumping on that OnlyFans bandwagon. It's a life choice if they want to do it. It's fine. You wouldn't see me spending eight, nine quid a month though. Pornhub's free and I'm a tight bastard. Fuck am I paying that? They're not itchy feet, itchy snatch. Oh, are you trying to say these women are loose? A lot of them are family women that love the partners. Tell you for now that shit would not be going down with my partner. Oh love, I'm fancying doing an OnlyFans. Off your fuck. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not, pet. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be overly happy. Which I'm sure, like 99% of the population wouldn't be happy. 
Hey Luan, do you have an OnlyFans? Just asking. Does anybody we know have an OnlyFan? Onlyvapes.com. But yeah, I'm having a crack at Due North. Um, I do believe this is made by Dispergo for those guys. And it's a lovely little company down in York. We don't have them on the website, but I, I did say I'll I'll give them a bit of a shout out. Sent for the purpose of this review. Not a reviewer, but I'll give anything a crack. Loose ain't the word. Yeah, you've got to be like morally deprived to, you know, especially if you've got family and stuff. And I know family comes first, but you've got to be in like the worst position possible to think that, you know, starting up basically an online porn thing is, is beneficial to your family. Just my opinion, but I'm, I'm, I've never even seen a strip ad, you know what I mean? I'm very... Never had to pay. Pay to play. What if their kids' mates stumble on it? Or if you know what you would do if our mates' mom was only on OnlyFans? Yeah, we'd crucify that, that child. <laughs> Be like, all right, all right Shane. Uh, just, just been looking at your mum's tatas. Um, very nice. Um, <clears throat> I saw your little computer in the background. Mm, nice. Proud, proud moments. Proud family moments you could share. Yeah. Then she's become a milf. My partner's a milfer. I don't want no one seeing that. They would get ripped. They would absolutely get ripped to shreds, which is very, very sad. Stifler's mom. I'd say I don't like Stifler's mom. I think she's a bit weird looking. But yes, I've just dropped the blackberry and raspberry. We'll have a go at this. Because you're a stud. Possible. Nah. My game is strong. So what am I thinking about this? Not overly sweet, which is good. Um, so this is the Blackberry and Raspberry. I will find out the name of this guy's store down in York um, and kind of put it in this post later on. Um, I'm kind of half cocked on this one due to being on the OnlyFans account earlier on. Man's only got so much game. would get tipped <laughs> he'd be the most popular kid in school see I don't know I don't know it's one of these isn't it it's one of these would, would they get absolutely crucified or would they think this this kid's a legend that his mum's got his boobs out on OnlyFans I don't know yes I can see your comments Monty have I missed a couple sorry mate are you setting up an OnlyFans Monty please say yes do like a bit of OnlyFans. Yeah, we, we can we see you, Monty. I don't know if others have appeared. This is the first one I've seen from you, mate. But yes, we're on this one, which is Due North. The company, I'm sure it's called Due North, the, the shop down in York, to be honest. And it, in spite of the North, this one's Raspberry, Blackberry and Raspberry. I certainly wouldn't say it's, a, it's not a flavour puncher, but it's, it tastes very clean. Like, I'm not getting mass layering on, on the fruits on this one. I'm not getting mass layering on the fruits. It, it, it's kind of bled out. I like a hope I think I know what I'm talking about. You know, being, being kind of in the trade for so long. And... <clears throat> You know, live lounge. Absolutely stunning liquids. But it's not a biased thing. I, I've said I've did this for a favour. The guy's absolutely a gem. 
It is berries. It, it's it's not a like a candy berry. It's like a floral, for floral blackberry note on that one. It's nice. It, it don't get us wrong. It's nice. But I wouldn't say it's like top shelf. But I love the branding on it. It's it's clean. It's simple. I don't know if you can see this. I'll post. I'll do it. I'll do a nice little. Only fans picture of this uh, due north. Me naked on the bed, just these covering me nipples. I'll, I'll do that later on. But yeah, there's that one. That is blackberry and raspberry. I would be a shit reviewer. I'm brutal as fuck. So yeah, not a big fan of this one. It's all. It's all right. It, it's vapable. It, it's like for the new vapor. It's probably lacking that bit of sweetness though for it for a kind of new vape out. It's not like a heavily layered liquid this one. So I would say if he's aiming for that market, he needs needs to up up that uh, super sweet a little bit. But it, it, I suppose it's clean. It's lovely. It, it, it has a, a taste. It's a more of a floral than a than a candy kind of blackberry blackcurrant. Sorry, blackberry and, and uh, raspberry. I was gonna do a blackberry this week. I was gonna do a blackberry when I've been messing about, but I've been on with a, a chocolate to banana caramel waffle, which is coming together lovely. Pussy cat ooh, push pussycat on the lap. Now we're talking on, let's have this shit. And I do have a little cat. We, we could make this happen. I just come on to fall asleep. Mate, it, it's my melodic tone, isn't it? My melodic Geordie tone. Pussycat on your lap. Just a pussycat, nothing else. But yeah, opinion on this one, honest opinion. I'd, if, it, if I was to score it out of 10, I'd probably give it a four. I would say that this one needs a bit of work. I wouldn't launch it, but it's good. It, 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 it has a, a taste for it. And I'm not going to do the cop out saying it's going to appeal to a certain kind of market. Because I don't know what it's supposed to be. I don't know what it, it, it's like. It's a simple blackberry and raspberry. Not getting much of the, the raspberry, getting more of a blackberry note on it. And a floral blackberry at that, which is different. But it's not, it's not sweet enough for something so simple. I think you, you've got you've got a, I don't know you've got to make it pop somehow, and that's normally where normally where you add a boatload of uh, sucralose in there. Seen the picture? <laughs> yes. So yeah, this one probably a four out of ten on a on a good day. Today is a good day. Been been with kiddies kiddies party today so we had a little party so yeah four to ten on that one so i'll just get this vaped off and yes i've not been paid only I'll, I'll, the only pay, money i get is is through um me, me uh only fans not sponsored by any of these companies it's just only fan subscriptions and i spend it on liquids but i was sent this free um so yeah, it, it's all right. It's all right. Very, very plain Jane. That's a uh, very plain Jane on this one. There's no cooling element. That's that's maybe where it's missing. I think it, it is missing a bit of coolness and a bit of sweetness on that one. Just just to make it like a, a, a viable flavour. So that's blackberry and raspberry. I wouldn't say I wouldn't buy it, but if there was this and, you know, oh, my messenger's going mental, everybody's ringing us, everyone's ringing us off WhatsApp. Paul, Ollie, you'll have to wait. Sorry, mate. Yeah, I've just been giving this a rundown, Chris, on the June North Blackberry and Raspberry, not my thing. I, I like the floral blackberries in it. The raspberry is kind of missed. Um, 
yeah, it needs it needs something to make it punch through, which is probably super sweet. Or, or another couple of another couple of blackberry flavors in there. I'd say would would kind of set this apart a little bit. So yeah, I've got to be honest. I wouldn't say something's amazing if it's not. It's as simple as that, guys. And, and if if I really don't believe in something, but I love the branding. It's inspired in the north, not the true north, but the north nonetheless. So a four out of ten. Do you think I'm being a bit harsh there on that one, Chris? Depends upon what type of nick shot you put into the juice. Yeah. If you put a nice nick shot in, this might pop through, but I still think it needs more at that kind of production level. I still think it needs a layering up with it. Either like a candy raspberry, which would add that little bit, little bit of sweetness without making it a coil killer. Or just layering up those blackberry notes. It's very simple, it's very plain GM. It's 4 out of 10. This one, however, has got me a little bit a little bit giddy because I've done a little dab test on this one. And this one is Twisted Lolly. Obviously, same brand, due north. Oh, the citrus is mint. The citrus on this is beautiful. Very limey. Lemon. Lemon and lime, isn't it? That's a hell of a lot better. That's a damn sight better. If I was to score that one straight off the bat, I'd say it's like a six. Muggy mix. Muggy mix. That's nice. That one's nice. The, the Twister Lolly is nice. I'm, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It has that little, you know, the, the, there is a little bit more sweetener in this one. We don't like sweetener, but, you know, we, like when we mix during Live Lounge, we, we try to use the zero sweetener. And, um,. We kind of go a little bit heavy on the concentrates, so we push up to about 20% on the concentrates generally, give or take. So you get all of the flavour, the well layered, well balanced. But we're not talking about that, we're talking about due north. And this one is Twister Lolly. I said I had a short there, no, I don't. It's nice. It could be a damn sight better if there was a mouth, more of a mouth feel than this one. But it is. It's heavy on the. That's it. It is quite heavy on the sweetener. This one is quite heavy on the sweetener. I've just ramped it up to uh, 100 watts. And it's tasty. It's just lacking a little bit of like. Twisted Lolly, what would you describe a Twisted Lolly as? It's, you know, it's, it's, it's only hidden. If someone says Twisted Lolly, it's, it's got no ice in this, I can see that. It has no ice, it even says no ice on the bottle, which is, more people should do that. More people should do that. So yeah, but Twisted Lolly, you know, you still have that ice cream element in there, don't you? You have an ice cream that, that's wrapped with lime, with lemon. This is the fruit element of a Twister Lolly. It doesn't have the, the kind of vanilla ice cream kind of note. A Twister Lolly, isn't that it has like a raspberry center, then it, it has a layer of ice cream, and then it has the green and yellow Around it, it, is that fair to say? I'm not getting. I haven't.
haven't looked at the flavor profiles on these ones to be honest guys but you know you, you, you should be able to pick up a vape have a taste of it and see that you know you shouldn't have to read a flavor profile because that's adding like the power of suggestion in your mind isn't it so if someone said if it said on the internet I looked this up and it said raspberry lime vanilla ice cream and strawberry yeah there's no strawberry I've not picked up any strawberry I'm not picking up any vanilla ice cream but the lemon and lime element is really good it is really good so the fruit part of this is belter should we do a lemon and lime should we do a twister at some point You know, at one point I do want to help companies, do you know what I mean? And if, if there's good company with really good people behind them and, and I can do something through Live Lounge and develop their flavours and be like, right, there you go. You can have that one. You can have that flavour. Only for the good people, though. I charge all everyone else. So get in me fucking good boots if you want a flavour crafting. Strawberry Centre, exactly I thought it would be that, mate. So yeah, it's, it's not a Twister Lolly, guys. It's it's the, the the lemony lime element of a Twister Lolly. There's no vanilla, there's no creams, there's no there's no strawberry. Why not do a tropical Twister Oranges and mango sorbet with that creamy twang? That, that would be, you know, that, 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 would, that would be more a Twister Lolly. Chris, I hope you don't think I'm being too brutal. It's it's a nice, it's a nice lime and lemon. It really is. <coughs> yeah, we are. We, we're looking more into like newer flavors, aren't we? Like stuff that hasn't been done is generally what we're doing on Live Lounge. Oh, shorted. It hasn't. I yeah, enjoy Maxwell's having a weird day. But yeah, it's definitely the lemon and lime element of a Twister Lolly. Um, so we give that one a 6 out of 10. And the Blackberry and Raspberry, we're only going for a 4 on that one. So apologies. But I've got to be true to myself, and if something ain't right, um, I'm gonna say I, I, I would buy Twister Lolly, but I'd, I'd maybe call it something else. I would buy this one and just call it like Lemon Lime Punch or something. Um, it, it, it's not Twister Lolly, and Blackberry and Raspberry needs needs it a little bit more. Needs does need a lot more actually. Constructive criticism. Yeah, I'll, I'll happily sit down with people and help develop their recipes. No bother. I'll even bring them on the live lounge and we'll go through their flavours with them and then adjust live as to, to how we would improve it. I'd, I'd gladly do that with people, but unfortunately we live in a world where people are very guarded for the best part, so it might happen in the future, it might not. Um, but yeah, I don't mind connecting with little brands, I don't mind them putting a little live lounge logo on their, their label just to, to say like, live lounge improved or something like that. The beardless baby. Yeah, it's gone, man. It's gone. I can't. I think I've got a tropical flavour to try, and another one. But these two, the, the ones incorrectly branded, the way labelled as a Twister Lolly, it's not. It's missing the strawberry centre and the ice cream. And the blackberry and raspberry just need to be more. So yeah, that one honest opinion, guys. That that is the way it is. I'm not going to be doing juice reviews very often, but for good people, I will kind of do something, even if it is help them develop those flavours. No bother. But it's vapable. It's not leaving a massive taste on my palate. It's certainly not like Victory Liquid or anything we've done in the live lounge um, where you, you get that mouth feel, you get that clear division in flavours and that, that's all to do with clever layering. Yeah, 
Ja, dit, dit zweven. Dit zweven. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably have a word and, and see if he wants us to help him develop those flavors a little bit. Chocolate mint custard made. It's on the cards. It's on the cards. I can do that one. It's a very simple one. Chocolate mint custard. We, we went totally off on a tangent on that one. Um, we did the waffle. So we did a, a chocolate banana caramel waffle. That's what's in development right now. I, I can easily knock together a, a chocolate mint custard, no problem. And, but that, that's a, a show on its own, isn't it, on Live Lounge? Absolutely. But, you know, it takes a couple of weeks. It takes a couple of weeks um, to develop these flavours. We have to go through the steep, steep process and then kind of rip it and, and strip it back down and increase and decrease. and. So yes, man, it is a flavour I want to do with chocolate mint custard. Would be really nice. So it is on the cards that that is going to happen. So that will be the next chocolate one. How waffles? How many waffles could you hold between your bum cheeks? I reckon two, Lee. I reckon we could hold two in there. How are you doing, Mr. Megan's? I reckon two. Are they fresh out the toaster though? Because there might be a little bit of squidge factor, although they'd be red hot. They, they might have that little compactability factor going on. What brand? Exactly. Yeah, it could be potato, bird's eye potato waffles. Bird's eye still frozen. Yeah, one. One. I've got. Toyed little bum cheeks, but I don't right now to get two in. Not on frozen ones, mate. Might get a bit of freezer burn on your, on your little tush. But if we're talking sweet waffles, and, and if they're, they're just warm, so they're still slightly malleable. Wow, Chris, you reckon you, you could do three or four? Or is that, do you think I could do three or four? Yeah, due north, man. I might reach out and say, right, you want a decent flavour sorting? I'll get that one done for you. Because these are a four and a six. Ah, oh, fucking no, it's going to be a four and a four. The flavour profile isn't right. It's tasty. So we've got a four and a four. It's tasty, but it's not what it's supposed to be. Can you name it Blue Waffles? For mate, we've got... We, I mean, I'm, one is two in the stink, isn't it? We we are going absolutely crazy on our. I haven't released any of those ones yet, though, mate. I haven't labelled any, so we have two in the stink. I think we did a what the hell do you call it? Battenberg cake, which was two in the pink, um, and then we did a, a something else, and it was two in the stink. This is why I don't let you guys, you know go wild but yeah I'm not going to keep dripping that one I'm not going to keep dripping that it's not my thing it's not my thing this is vintage cola let's have a crack at vintage cola and it's not, oh, let's make another brand look bad to make ours look good. I would never, ever do that. I'm here to support. So I will, you know, if, if, if he wants us to rejig these flavours for him, that's not a bother. That is no bother at all. And go, go down and visit his shop, man. Get some stuff. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, Lee. Oh, right, Lee's question to the group. 36 cocks on the wall. How many are you choking on? <laughs> oh my god. Mate, my gag reflex is shit. I'm sorry, mate. My gag reflex is absolutely shocker. I'll brush my teeth and I'm gagging. <laughs> oh. Guys, this happens now and again. 
don't be alarmed, there's no malice in it. It's just Lee. <laughs> He's funny. Yeah, 36 o'clock on the wall, how many are you talking on? I'd, I'd be tapping out on the first one, mate. As soon as I open my mouth wide enough, I'll be spewing. Not choking or something. <laughs> Not choking or swallowing on anything, mate. <laughs> Lee. Can't take you anywhere. <laughs> Most people get banned from groups, but Lee can do that shit all day. It's funny as fuck. We're all adults, you know, it, it, it is a lovely support group in here, and if anyone asked a question, I'm sure Lee would be the first one to answer. Especially if it was on how many cocks to choke on. But yes, if anyone has any questions at any point, feel very free to ask them in group. If you have some funnies you want to post, if, if you know, but overall just support people, try and add value to the group and it will grow and we'll do more and more things. I do like to think that we're doing things differently anyway, but I just don't want it to turn into, you know, sales post, sales post, sales post. They're all our sales posts. But I want to get a lot more involvement in there from everybody. That's tasty. That's tasty. That's a proper flavour, mind. And it's staying on my tongue afterwards. And there's that mouthfeel and those spices. Look at the difference in the plumage, man. Look at the difference in the cloud production there. And that's going from a 70-30 onto a 60-40. All the live lounge is 60-40, yet they, they absolutely choke like a bitch. Who stuffed pasta is your go-to? Which stuffed, stuffed pasta is your Um, oh, I like a beef and tomato kind of, not ravioli, but you know these these really nice ones in the supermarkets where it's all dry, where well, not dry, but in the, in the fridge section. Or, like a, a cheese and ricotta, not ricotta, that's another cheese. Like a cheese and, what the hell is it? Spinach, it's cheese and spinach, like a hard cheese and spinach. Pasta is, is really nice. No porn sales posts. <clears throat> no, we, we don't want any porn links throwing up guys. Do you prefer a fingering or in? <laughs> I was watching something on YouTube the other night and it was like, I, I, I shouldn't have really saying this, but it was like um, cream or squirt and this guy was going around asking and I was like, what the fuck are people doing on YouTube? No, no porn sites, no, no fingering or anal things. But if someone has trouble with like, does anyone, you know, recommend a certain type of coil to use in this tank? Or what's a good liquid, guys? Or something like that. You know, feel free to dive in there. Come round and buy me dinner first. Yeah, for 60-40, this kicks, man. And it does get better with Nick in, it gets a hell of a lot, a hell of a lot better, but this is a zero Nick on this one. Yeah, anyone that hasn't tried our, our cola, our vintage cola, really should. I wouldn't say, I'm not going to be a corny twat and say it's a game changer, but it's just very, very nice. It's a very decadent kind of cola. And it has had raven reviews from everybody saying it's the best colour they've ever had. But that, that's not my opinion, it's others. How long can you hold your breath for? I, I was talking about this with a child the other day, they saw so a good question. Um, I reckon it depends on the circumstance because your body can go into like fight or flight mode. Um, I reckon at a push, under those circumstances, you could probably go for a good minute and a half, two minutes. But if you're in the bath, you know, and you're just flopping about with a rubber ducky, I reckon about 30 seconds, 40 seconds, maybe. 
depends on the situation. So yeah, 90, 40 to 90 seconds, I'd say. It's, uh, it's all about all of the flavors you put in there, mate. Not just the super secret one. Prove it, mate. I don't have the pool up anymore. Bought this massive pool for the kids, man. Um, and I was doing about 10 laps underneath. And I reckon that was probably about 90 seconds. And it was cold as anything. But yes, guys, it's been lovely. This has been a, a little bit of a, a, an OnlyFans slash due north rundown. Um, but yeah, I'll get in touch with you North and, and have a, a word about the, the flavours. On, on, if they want to, I don't want to upset. I don't want to. But I kind of know enough to be able to make those flavours a shit ton better. Driving. It would have to be pissing down a lot. Like a pure wall of water. I'd put my head out the window like. Bathtub will do. I'll do a bathtub one tomorrow. I'll get our last to film it with my little bum cheeks hanging out. Just for you, mate. But yes, that, that's my opinions on the Due North liquids. Um, I'll do a little photo with them. They're all right. They're both coming in at like a four out of six, four out of ten. One should be a six, but it's, it's incorrectly labelled as a Twister Lolly when it doesn't have any kind of cream element or strawberry element in there. So that, that, that's a bit of a bummer. It, it's, it's a sad state. But if, but if it was a lemon and lime, it would be a six. <coughs> I think we could probably, with a bit of careful crafting, push it up to an eight. We could push that up to an eight, no bother. Same with the Twister Lolly. I'm sure we could re-engineer that one to make it a really, really fine ass liquid. If they wanted a Twister Lolly. Blackberry. We, we could lay that shit out and make it palatable. Bathtub will do. But yes, guys, that is me done. Um, thanks for joining. Um, I will be doing a, a smock. Not a smock, fuck's sake. Not a smock. The, the uh, new drag Max, I'm going to be doing a little review of that one over on the Live Lounge. It won't be a live. It won't be a live. I'm going to record it, post it up in there before we go live on Saturday. So people will have a look at that and then hop onto our live. Oh mate, it's the shame man, the shame. The shame of it. Yeah, lots of balls to hide that disappointment. I, I, you know, it, it doesn't even worth, it's not even worth speaking about, but a lot of disappointment. Let's just put it that way, a lot of disappointment. But yes, thanks for joining guys and I'll see you all soon. Have a great night, stay safe and look after each other. Bye.